Peter Cahoon and in this episode we're looking at stormwater drainage construction. With me is Dennis Woodbridge, retired RTA engineer. Now Dennis, we're talking about pipes, pox culverts, drainage pits and all the associated foundation materials. That's right, Peter. In this series, we're going to be looking at some of the more important aspects of drainage construction. OK, Dennis, let's get a general overview of what we're talking about one by one. Well, firstly, we need to understand that the manufacture and supply of components for stormwater drainage systems needs to be carefully monitored. Well, we have to understand also that it's important to manage the environmental imp impacts of drainage construction. So we need to understand the process of the installation of drainage, but also the managing the environmental impact. Now, a big heading is getting the foundations right, Dennis. Yeah, foundations, Peter, are very important and we encounter a whole range of difficult situations out there and uh, it's important that we understand what we need to do when we come across those. Construction loads are a potential problem. Yeah, Peter, it's easy to forget that sometimes during construction some of these uh, pipe culverts and other structures are subjected to loads that are beyond their design capacity and so we need to protect them temporarily. So we're watching out for rollers and scrapers, I think I understand that. And last but by no means least, culvert design. Well, you always have to keep a focus on the fact that uh, the life of drainage structures will normally be well in excess of the life of the pavement, and we're typically looking at 100 years. Now, you know, many uh, structures, drainage structures that were built in colonial times are still in service today. Wow. 